Imagine a time, about 100 million years ago, when North America was split in two by an ancient ocean. This wasn't just any body of water, it was the Western Interior Seaway, a warm, tropical paradise teeming with some of the strangest and deadliest creatures the world has ever seen. Just picture this, a vast, prehistoric sea stretching over North America, teeming with creatures so fearsome they'd make modern sharks look like goldfish. This ancient waterway housed an array of marine monsters, from massive reptiles to peculiar squids, each equipped with unique and terrifying traits. Imagine being dropped in the middle of it all, not knowing what lurks beneath. Let's dive deep and rank these monsters from least to most dangerous, breaking down just how close to certain doom you'd be in each encounter. Starting with one of the least threatening giants in the seaway, Tychotis. Tychotis could grow up to 20 feet long, Think of it as the size of a modern great white shark. Unlike its famous cousin, however, this shark was more interested in crunching shells than biting into flesh. Its jaws were lined with thick, flat teeth that were ideal for grinding down the hard shells of its prey, like clams and ammonites. While this might not sound too scary, imagine a shark-sized fish casually swimming around, snapping up anything that was crunchy and tough. Its massive size alone would be intimidating in the water, and if it mistook you for a shell-covered creature, one chomp could crush bones just as easily as shells. Luckily for any soft-skinned swimmers, Tychotis wouldn't be interested unless you were wrapped in armor. Next up is Parapizosia, a creature that was more a mystery than a menace. Parapizosia was an ammonite, a relative of the modern Nautilus, but on an entirely different scale. Picture a spiral shell over 11 feet wide. This thing could barely fit through the average doorway today. It might not seem particularly frightening on the surface, but that giant shell meant Parapuzosia was well protected from most threats. Imagine spotting a massive spinning shell in the water, its intricate spirals glinting as it floated past. Although many scientists believe it wasn't an aggressive predator, the sheer size of Parapuzosia could strike fear into any smaller creatures nearby. And if it did decide to defend itself, the strength needed to maneuver that massive shell could pack a punch, potentially knocking away anything that got too close. Now, imagine glancing over your shoulder and spotting a head popping up from the depths, attached to a neck over 15 feet long. That's the plesiosaur style of hunting. Although these creatures varied in size, some of the larger species could reach up to 40 feet in length, with their necks accounting for a good portion of that length. They were slender and sleek, with four paddle-like flippers that helped them glide silently through the water, making them expert ambush predators. The plesiosaurs were notorious for sneaking up on their prey, using only their small, toothy mouths to snatch fish and other smaller creatures. Now, while a plesiosaur's thin neck and small mouth wouldn't be suited to hunt something as big as a human, their agility in the water and ability to blend into the depths made them eerie to encounter. A sudden nip from those needle-like teeth could easily send chills down your spine, assuming it didn't pull you deeper into the water first. Let's move on to some more active hunters. Tusatuthis and Ancelocerus. Tusatuthis and Ancelocerus bring us closer to real fear. These giant squids were unlike anything you'd see today, with body lengths reaching up to 30 feet, including their tentacles. Tusatuthis, in particular, was a close relative of modern squids but far larger and much stronger. Equipped with two long tentacles lined with suction cups and a sharp, parrot-like beak, it was a predator that could ambush anything small enough to be overpowered by its grip. Ancelocerus, on the other hand, was less like a traditional squid and more like an ammonite, sporting a bizarre, partially spiraled shell that looked both prehistoric and alien. While not as fast as modern squids, these ancient cephalopods had enough muscle power to ensnare their prey and pull them in for the kill. Imagine being gripped by a powerful tentacle, unable to break free, as you're dragged toward a massive beak designed to crush bone and flesh. Although not the most fearsome predators in the seaway, these giants were definitely intimidating and dangerous enough to make it clear that you'd be far from the top of the food chain. Venturing closer to dangerous territory, we have the Squalicorax, commonly known as the Crow Shark. Squalicorax may have been smaller than some of the giants of the seaway, but its ruthless nature and efficient teeth made it a formidable predator. Growing between 6 to 16 feet, the crow shark had serrated teeth that allowed it to cut through flesh like a steak knife. This predator didn't rely on raw power. Instead, it was highly opportunistic, scavenging on anything it could find. Fossil evidence suggests it even took on dinosaurs that ventured too close to the shoreline, snagging a meal from whatever carcass was left behind. 
Imagine the fear of seeing Squalacorax circling below, its dark shadow slipping through the water as it eyed you up. Its size might not be the largest, but its persistence, intelligence, and gruesome bite made it a deadly opponent. Not to mention, it had no problem feasting on any animal that dared enter its domain. But now we're talking about a creature that took big appetite to another level. Syphactinus, also known as X-Fish. Syphactinus was a fish that grew up to 20 feet long, with jaws that could unhinge and swallow creatures nearly its own size. Imagine looking down and seeing a monstrous fish with a mouth full of sharp, pointed teeth rushing toward you. This fish was fast, powerful, and hungry, a combination that spelled doom for anything in its path. In fact, scientists have found fossils of other large fish inside the stomachs of Zephactinus, suggesting they often bit off more than they could chew, literally. Picture being chased by a fish that's not only bigger than you, but also has the speed to catch you and the capacity to swallow you whole. Once in its mouth, escape would be near impossible, as its needle-like teeth prevented any prey from wriggling out. Now, it's time to introduce you to the boss of crocs, Dianosuchus. Imagine a crocodile, but on a scale that makes even the largest modern crocs look tiny. Dianosuchus could reach lengths of up to 35 feet and weigh an astounding 8.5 tons, giving it the size and strength to take down nearly anything that crossed its path. This prehistoric crocodilian had jaws that could deliver a bite of 100,000 newtons, which is even higher than T-Rexes, making it one of the most powerful animals of its time. Dianosuchus was an ambush predator, lying in wait along the shoreline for unsuspecting dinosaurs or large marine animals. With its immense body hidden below the water's surface, Dianosuchus could launch itself with shocking speed, snapping its jaws shut on anything within reach. Imagine seeing this monstrous creature lying in wait, its armored back barely visible above the water. If it got a hold of you, its teeth and crushing bite would make escape nearly impossible. Or in simple terms, you're already dead. The runner-up on our list is Cretoxyrhina, also known as the Jinsu Shark. Cretoxyrhina was a predator that earned its nickname from its razor-sharp teeth, which could cut through flesh with terrifying efficiency. This shark was about 26 feet long, larger than most great white sharks today, and was designed for speed and power. With a muscular, streamlined body and a crescent-shaped tail fin, Cretoxyrhina could swim at high speeds, allowing it to chase down its prey with ease. Its jaws were lined with rows of sharp, serrated teeth that left deep, ragged wounds on anything it bit into, ensuring that, even if its prey managed to escape, they wouldn't survive for long. Finally, we reach the apex predator of the western interior seaway, the Mosasaur. These massive marine reptiles could grow over 50 feet in length, with powerful tails that propelled them through the water at incredible speeds. Unlike many other predators in the seaway, Mosasaurs had long, muscular bodies covered in tough, leathery skin, which offered protection and added strength. Their jaws were lined with double rows of razor-sharp, conical teeth that could clamp down with crushing force. With a flexible jaw that allowed them to swallow prey whole, Mosasaurs were relentless hunters that took on anything they wanted. In fact, fossil evidence shows that they didn't hesitate to prey on other large marine reptiles, making them the top predators of their time. Imagine watching this creature approach, its massive jaws opening to reveal a dark tunnel of teeth. A single strike from a mosasaur was enough to shatter bones and drag its prey into the depths of the seaway. With their incredible agility and strength, mosasaurs were not only terrifying to other marine creatures, but also unstoppable in their dominance of the ocean. Their sheer size, intelligence, and predatory instinct made them the undisputed kings of the prehistoric waters. If you were unlucky enough to encounter one, you'd have no chance of escape. The Mosasaur's power was unmatched, its reign over the western interior seaway absolute. With each powerful thrust of its tail, it could close in on prey with lightning speed, sealing the fate of anything that dared to enter its territory. The thought of a creature this immense and deadly hunting, you would be nothing short of a nightmare, proving why the Mosasaur truly deserved its place at the top of the food chain. Anyway, if you liked the video, Hit the like and the subscribe, and we'll meet again in next video.